paper lovers, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be making a card using the brand new Scrappy Mom set called but Gone Buggy. And these are really cute sentiments that go great with little paper buggy projects. Um, I'm going to be using You Light Up My Life, and I'm actually not using it with a bug, so you can see that you don't have to. Um, the pattern paper that I'm using I got from the Echo Park 6x6 paper pad called So Happy Together. And I am making a standard four and a quarter by five and a half size card, and this is Paper Tree Inks Black Card Stock. I'm going to set this aside. I have a hot pink mat that is four by five and a quarter, and then this is what I got from that paper pad I showed you. It's just like a little grid pattern, and this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Before I adhere these together, I am going to add a little grass border down here at the bottom. And all I did was take my scissors and just make little slits in it to make it look like fringy grass. And I'm going to just put a layer of ATG down here at the bottom. And then I'm just going to adhere my grass down here about right there I think and then I'll just trim it off okay so I have my grass all trimmed off now I can go ahead and adhere this onto my pink mat and then I'll go ahead and adhere that onto my card Okay, so there's my card base all done. And of course, you'd, if you, you could either use a white gel pen when you're signing this card or just add a layer of white to the inside so that you can write in it. Now let's go ahead and build my little scene. I used my silhouette for this project. And let's see, I cut out um, this little bench. And I cut it at 2.25, and it's called Love Bench, and it's by Lori. I can't read my writing. I'm sorry. It's either Lori or Lonnie Stevens. <laughs> and that's going to go, oh, I'm sorry. I popped it up on some foam squares. And that's going to go right about there. And then I have this really adorable lamp post. I cut it 2.85 and it's called Globe Lamp Post and it's actually made by Silhouette. And I got all these in the Silhouette online store. Uh, let's see. I'm just kind of laying out my layout so I can figure out where to put my sentiment. This little cloud I cut at 0.75. It's by Lori Whitlock and it comes in a set of six clouds but I just used this one. And my sentiment, you light up my life, I'm going to move this a little bit closer to me, is going to go right here. Okay, so let me get my ink. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm just going to ink this up. And I need to move this a little bit closer, so sorry if it's not in frame or my big giant head gets in there. Oh, cute. Okay, I just realized that I forgot to add the little lights to the lamp post, so I'm going to do that and come back. Okay, so I went ahead and added the little white globes onto my lamp post. I just put, I turned the post upside down and I put a tiny bit of, I used my Zig two-way glue pen. I put a tiny bit of glue here and then I just attached the globe. And then I went ahead and adhered this down to my card with my Zig two-way glue pen. I lifted up a little bit of my grass and I kind of tucked my post behind it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and stick down my adorable little bench. I love this bench. And this card 
could be used for, um, you know, like your husband or boyfriend, um, or just a really good friend in your life. If you don't want to use a bench with a heart on it, if you feel kind of weird, um, there were there were other benches in the online store that didn't have the heart. That would be just as cute. Stick that. I'm trying to eek. Oh no, I lost my foam square. I'm trying to get it kind of centered under the sentiment. That's good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my cloud down. I think I'm going to pop up my cloud also. Let me grab some foam squares real quick. Okay, now I am going to be adding some little flowers. I cut these at 0.5. And I got these from a file called Grassy Border and Flowers. It actually cuts out um, a grass border and then these little flowers. I didn't like the grass. I couldn't. It, I just. I couldn't get it to cut right. Um, so I just made my own grass. So and I, but I used the flowers, and I'm just going to add a couple flowers. I'm just going to use those three. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. And then I'm going to add some bling to the centers of my flowers. I think... What am I going to use? Okay, so I've decided I'm going to put a clear bling in the center of my pink flower. And then I'm going to put, wait, is that what I'm going to do? I can't make up my mind. And then I think I'll put a pink bling in the yellow one. And then I'll put a yellow bling on the white one. And these are all from Michael's Recollection brand. And then I'm, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Stardust Stickles and I'm going to add some stickles to my globes just to kind of give them some sparkle like they're lit up. And I'm also going to add the stickles to the cloud. Okay, so there's my finished card, and you can see all that pretty sparkle from the stickles. You light up my life, so you don't have to use the sentiment on buggy cards, but you can if you want. I will put a link down in the description box to the Scrappy Moms blog so you can check out their new stamps. The other set is a circus set, and it is so cute. I'll be making something with that next, okay? Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a blessed day.